name is Kirk Weisenberger. I'm the Director of Athletics at Proud, the Director of Athletics at Fair State University. And I want to thank everybody for being here on this extremely special occasion uh, to dedicate a plaque in honor of a gentleman and his family, an individual who was a true visionary, a leader, and a great friend of intercollegiate athletics at Fair State University, uh, Dr. Bob Averley. Before we get to the accolades and hear from Dr. Avery and Dr. Eisler, I'd like to bring up our Chairman of the Board of Trustees, a 1971 graduate of Fair State University and a Greenville, Michigan native, Mr. Ron Steed. Thank you. It's truly an honor for me to be able to represent the Board of Trustees on this occasion. Uh, gosh, I hate to admit this. 42 years ago, I was on the search committee that hired President McKinney. <laughs> and I still have a picture that he signed um, a black and white glossy. <laughs> uh, I'm handing you my diploma. But the thing that you, uh, everyone here appreciates about Dr. Edward is the fact that even after he left Fair State University, he has come back, he's given up his time and treasure to stay with Fair State University, and he's forever a bulldog. So it's a great honor that I get a chance to do this on behalf of the trustees. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. I, hockey is such a wonderful part of Ferris, and the thank you for being a part of the hockey family in Ferris. It's one of the great pleasures of being president of Ferris State University is that you have the opportunity to, to work and see Bob Abelino on a regular basis. Bob was president from 1970 to 1984 at Ferris, and there will never be a president of Ferris State University who has his ability to innovate, his ability to come up with creative, innovative ideas. And you think about the pieces that President Edward Layton did during his presidency. He brought the College of Optometry here. He created the first professional golf management program in the country. And the list could go on and on. And, oh, by the way, he started intercollegiate ice hockey at Ferris also. So. Not all those ideas uh, work. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa is standing there, a loyal person that worked with me daily for all those years. And she'll attest some of the ideas is were not very good. Quite a few of them she, she curtailed before they ever <laughs> got right. She had, a, she had a way about her, she would hide the things that wouldn't work. <laughs> I'd say, I thought, we were, I, thought I, I thought I developed something like that, and then she'd say, well, I don't know where it is. <laughs> but you know, uh, uh, Ron said 42 years, and I was 42, so he had those 42 years, for 42 years, that makes me 84. And it's just so wonderful to still be able to get around and be able to talk and get to meetings like this. Down at the golf course where I play at uh, Duck Lake and the Albion, uh, there are three three of us there that are in our mid-80s. All the rest are 80. <laughs> I, just feel so, I just feel so happy to, to, to be here and to be able to continue to, uh, to work on uh, workable ideas. And uh, in our family, it's uh, one time where we've got uh, four generations here. My son, Bob, myself, of course, one generation, Bob, uh, my uh, grandson, Alex, who was a Ferris student, and my great-grandson, Loki, um, who lives in Grand Rapids. And uh, it's uh, just, just, just wonderful to, to be here. Uh, Ferris, uh, uh, I, I said uh, I said this well, this afternoon at the meeting. People were telling about how much uh, Ferris had, uh, meant to them, and I I said you have no idea what Ferris has meant to me. You know, I, I sound like a graduate, you know, a student went to school here, but Ferris gave me just an unusual opportunity to work in an environment on uh, the kinds of programming that I coming out of a working class family, uh, believed in and believed that we needed in uh, the society. 
Ferris happened to be here and someone uh, uh, bumped me in California and said, why don't you come back? And I'm very grateful for that opportunity. Um, hockey was a lot of fun to get started. Uh, Esther and I uh, uh, enjoyed some fundraising and I think we had they had cookie sales and all kinds of things because we had to raise a little bit of money to avoid the public criticism that we were, we were we knew we were going to have, we were going to get. And all the early years uh, were, were were so important. You know, I never forget uh, after Rick came here, head coach, we go down and play at Ohio State and. Uh, there we were playing to get in the finals of the uh, CCHA, and uh, we win down there. And I'll never forget the feeling that we all had. I think we had about ten. We had about ten people there. But it was fun, and uh, uh, we were so so fortunate to uh, find a community that uh, also has loved and still does love uh, hockey. And uh, it wouldn't have worked, it wouldn't have worked everywhere. But it worked, it worked here. And uh, it was uh, always an enjoyable uh, experience. And as a matter of fact, every experience that it, uh, it, uh, uh, Paris has been enjoyable. <laughs>